Uh, I'm actually. Uh, Wait, Bob, Robert, is it Bob yes. or Ro Robert? Yes. Um, can you start that over again? And by the way, I am recording. Um, okay. So one thing, and we'll, well, Jerry will teach on this a little bit, is we don't want to really um, mention any kind of what, medical terms, Jerry. Um, but, okay. what you, but what you just said is a great testimonial. So that's why I kind of hit record because I forgot to hit it. Jump out okay. of here. So, so hey, uh, welcome to the call, everybody. We got a brand new person who just said roll with Bob Spyro. What did you say a couple of weeks ago? You just got your swish, Robert? Yes. So yes. tell us tell us a little bit about your experience so far. Uh I'm I'm getting this like extra burst of uh energy. I'm all over the place, man. This thing feels uh feels great. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh I also uh, I'm also uh um you know uh moving my volume my um you know my um <laughs> oh my god. I'm using the bathroom quite frequently like I'm supposed to. I've been getting, you know, I've been constipated for a while. And uh All right. that's changed as well. So Oh good for you. That yeah, that so that keeps it, I, that I, yeah. that's a re that's a recurring theme here. And anyways, we're looking forward to learning more about you. I know I kind of put you on the spot. You're the brand new person. We all had oh, to meet you. That's okay, man. I, I, <laughs> not a problem. All right. This is fun. We'd like to have fun here, too. But I know, and I, I'm really uh, cognizant of everyone's time and appreciate you jumping on like this. And especially, well, everybody, but especially Dr. Jerry Shaw, who actually, uh, he, he used to live in Colorado. Now he's out in a beautiful home in Oklahoma. But he used to be my neighbor here. That's how I met him. I don't know how was it. I don't know twenty something years ago, Jerry, but uh, and we've stayed close and we've had real success in the past. Uh, it's been a while now uh, around the world with uh, uh, Himalayan goji berry, and um, and we had a lot of fun. That's how I'm in my house here in Colorado still. So I really believe in the model of this, the way we do this business and networking. Uh, okay. And um, a lot of times I was going to mention um, breaking, you know, breakthrough nutritional products or cutting edge a lot of comes through this industry first um and a lot of it's because it's products you have to experience like they're experiential or you know if they're just sitting on a shelf they'll just sit there and they all kind of sound great but this is truly a different one this is truly different that's why we are attracting t doctor types so much um uh to this whole company and our team uh is because there's something really special about this and something different about it uh, it's yes. not just another, I mean, there's wonderful formulations, thousands of them out there in this industry, which is great, but this one's especially unique. And Dr. Jerry, um, uh, would you kind of touch on that a little bit, the uniqueness of what we have here a little bit and how glutathione is so important to our body? Cause you articulated so well, not only are you a great business builder, but you're also, uh, someone that I really admire being a doctor and also be able to kind of share it in layman's terms of uh how this glutathione works and what makes our uh glutathione what makes this really a breakthrough product yeah chris i'm i'm happy to you know back when i was in practice i'd graduated back in 1980 and um got busy pretty fast i was actually at an office in los angeles and and later on, LA and San Diego, so I was really, really too busy. You know, it's like overwhelming and uh, I'm glad to be done with that. I can tell you that. But we, uh, because of my background, I attracted a lot of holistic other doctors and worked together with them. And we all understood that no one discipline could capture wellness. And so we had MDs and there's a, uh, Chinese medical people called OMDs that specialize in Chinese medicine. Uh, there's Ayurvedic medicine, there's homeopathy, herbology, nutrition, all of these kinds of things. And we tried to incorporate as much of that as possible um, because we really wanted to capture wellness. And we were seeing a lot of people that had uh, serious issues. Uh, at one time, we got kind of well known in the community that had. Uh, um, fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome, those kind of people, which really is a, an autoimmune uh, kind of thing. And, and that's a, gotten way worse since those days, since the 80s, way worse, exponentially worse. Uh, you see now more Parkinson's disease, you see more ALS, you see more uh, lupus, rheumatoid, things like that. They're all uh, autoimmune. 
And so we, uh, we were finding a lot of gut issues, but we were finding a lot of liver function issues. You know, the, the other doctors that did a lot of testing and things, they, they were coming up with liver all the time. And the gut and liver work together. And you can't get the, liver, the, the gut functioning properly without liver functioning properly. And that's what we were just discussing. You know, the glutathione can help the, you know, the elimination and things like that. You begin to notice those kind of things because the glutathione supports, it's a thousand times more prevalent in liver cells than in other cells of the body. And that's just the, the innate intelligence. You could call it God, whatever you want to, but uh, innate intelligence of our body knows where to put glutathione and there's a thousand times more in the liver because it's so needed there. And the liver has four, 500 known functions. And um, I almost said 400 because back in the eighties, we, we, we said 300 and then in the nineties it went to 400 and now it's 500 known functions but it's everything to do with the blood and everything. And the liver is important for so many things, not only getting rid of the toxins, like we know liver gets rid of the toxins, helps get rid of our heavy metal toxins and industrial pollutants out of our body. And again, I'm gonna add, jump in quickly and say you can't, somebody can't achieve an ideal weight with the liver that's not working either. And you see a lot of people that are overweight uh, the liver is not getting able to get rid of the toxins and they can't lose that weight. So you, there's so many reasons you got to have a, a functioning liver, your immune system, um, your um, cardiovascular system uh, because of the lipids that it balances, the uh, blood sugar that it, that it helps to control and balance, the enzymes, the hormones, um, but especially supports immune system in so many different ways. So. I, I found a study back in 1985 that was saying how liver function correlates directly with glutathione levels. And if glutathione levels are low, which we knew glutathione levels tended to be low in most people, liver function suffered. So a light bulb went off and we thought if we could upregulate glutathione, we could change this paradigm we were seeing all of these sick people that struggled with this autoimmune, uh, these autoimmune diseases and so many other things that spin off of it. The things I mentioned from cardiovascular disease to metabolic disorders like diabetes to uh, um, neurological disorders, all kinds of things that we were seeing. If we could upregulate glutathione, we could get a handle on it, but we couldn't really do it. The nutrients to give a person to upregulate glutathione didn't really work. And there's a critical nutrient called um, L-cysteine that the stomach acids break when you take it. So it, it does, isn't absorbed in a usable form to create glutathione. Glutathione itself, you can go to the store and get a glutathione supplement, like a GNC store. They'll sell you a glutathione supplement, but that doesn't work. Uh, 99, 98 to 99% of it is destroyed by the stomach acid. So you... You're wasting your money really to do that. And we, uh, over the years, experimented with other things. Like there are certain sprouts, like broccoli sprouts are pretty good at, uh, at upregulating glutathione, but it's really hard to keep a broccoli sprout from, from actually rotting and it smells really bad because of a high sulfur content. <laughs> it just wasn't to get compliance, you know, it just wasn't really uh, user-friendly. So when I heard that Stephen Scott um, actually, I first heard of him in 2006, and he was working with a glutathione precursor where they somewhat stabilized it so that it could get through the stomach acids, and that was with a company called Max. And I thought, wow, you know, that's really cool, but Chris knows we were, we, we were working in another company back in 2006, so I wasn't going to change companies, but I, but I actually started to learn about Stephen Scott back in 2006. I saw all of the things. He's an accomplished author. He, he uh, basically lives his life according to the book of, book of Proverbs, which he turned his life around four decades ago because of it, and has written about that. So he, he, he's a writer of, of uh, the, theological-oriented books, and there, a dozen of them have been on the New York Times bestseller list. So he's, a, he's very accomplished, and he's worked with almost every celebrity that was famous as I was growing up. 
you can almost name the celebrity and Stephen Scott's worked with them. And the reason he's worked with them is he partnered with them to sell breakthrough products. Larry King interviewed him in 2004 as the breakthrough millionaire because he takes products that are unique and special and always some sort of breakthrough. And he has this heart for humanity, wanting to really help humanity. So he would market these breakthrough products and he typically would use celebrities to do that. And he sold over 4 billion, four and a half billion with a B dollars worth of breakthrough products. So he's quite a famous guy. And so I kind of watched his career. And when I heard that he had launched a nano glutathione from a friend of mine, I asked her, can you get me into a meeting with him? Because I always felt like I need to meet that guy somewhere or somehow. So the next day she, she arranged it and it blew my mind because he had pictures, many of them he can't show anymore because the attorneys come in and you know a lot of them make medical claims just by the picture. Right. Because there are pictures of conditions that glutathione has helped and uh, their attorneys kind of said better not show those because, you know, could end up with some problems. So now they just show before and after face pictures, which is a good way to do it, because I like to say that we have a product in the swish that you swish in your mouth. And that's the brilliance of the technology. And that's how it avoids the stomach. You swish it in your mouth and it's absorbed through the mucosal membrane in the mouth into the blood uh, immediately upon the, you know, the minute or so you're swishing it. And in 70 seconds, it's into the cells. No one can do that. We have, uh, you know, over the years, uh, worked with uh, IV glutathione and uh, it, it's, I don't like it because you have to introduce so much at once. It's expensive, it's not convenient, it's painful, it's puncturing, being a puncture is, it's not, again, it's not user friendly. And the, the issue is getting it into the cells where it actually can go to work because the body in the blood will break down that IV glutathione. And now you have L-cysteine, the, the, the product, that the, the, the real nutrient that's needed to create glutathione. But it also needs glutamate, also known as glutamic acid, and glycine. So those three peptides come together, but there's a series of events that allow that to happen. And some and many of them are controlled by genes, and those genes can be deactivated. In fact, when you're in your teens, you're very actively pr producing glutathione. And you can go out and you can get hurt and you can have a sporting event and you're hardly sore the next day, you jump up out of bed, you don't really feel it. But by the time you're in your 30s, you have a lot less because 10 to 15% per decade and the genes start shutting down. There's a couple of cliffs you go off of. One is like as early as age 27. Another cliff you go off of is at age 45. Another one at age 65. By the time you're at age 65, you, you have a very small amount of glutathione and you actually likely need even more than you do as a teenager. So. When we say that youth is wasted on the young, we, you know, that, that's part of it. Uh, as we get older, we don't have the glutathione that we need to help the function of the cells and to help protect our body from all of the constant assaults. I was on a Zoom with Stephen Scott today, and he said that he read an article where one puff of a cigarette, and I remember because I worked in L Los Angeles quite a bit, and they would say that uh, in LA and New York on the city street, if you were out on the street, it was like you were smoking a cigarette. So if you were out on the street all day, it's like you smoke cigarettes all day in those cities. So he said one puff of a cigarette delivers 100 trillion oxidative agents. And it, it totally could hammer the lungs, except guess what? The lungs, the tissue of the lungs are flooded with glutathione. So that's what saves us and keeps the lungs from being damaged and, you know, people getting cancer very quickly. This is glutathione. So <clears throat> one, one thing that uh, uh, we, we knew uh, back then is that almost everybody we saw had low glutathione levels. So we were trying to upregulate it with all of those different means. It was impossible to consistently and effectively upregulate it. So upon hearing this from Steve, we knew, or I knew, I needed to try it at the very least. 
And what I experienced was within just a few days, I noticed I was sleeping better, which makes sense because the nervous system and the brain rely on glutathione. I noticed my mood was better. I noticed I had more sustainable energy through the day. And then two months later, Bob will appreciate this. <laughs> <laughs> but when I was in college, I, I wrestled and I had a knee injury uh, in my freshman year. And so I redshirted my sophomore year because it still wasn't healed that well. And then my junior year, I was in practice and in practice, this guy had a single leg takedown on me and he was like the young kid coming in. He was a three-time state champion and I didn't want him to take me down. So it was stupid. I should have just let him take me down, but he had a good, you know, single leg takedown. And he, he really hit that knee. He, he, he injured it really badly. So that was kind of the end of my, my wrestling career, unfortunately. But that knee injury, it took about, I don't know, five to 10 years to get to where it wasn't so bad. And I really, I was in Colorado and I, and I used to love to ski, but after that knee injury, I didn't anymore. And I always kind of favored a little bit that knee, knew it was injured. Five to 10 years later, it felt pretty good. I could kind of run and things like that. But then I re-injured it like 15 years ago, 15, maybe 18 years ago. Now it didn't get better. And possibly that's because of low glutathione levels. So in the last, let's say 18 years, probably more close to 18 than 15, the last 18 years, my left knee, and actually I, um, I uh, getting in and out of the car was always a challenge because you plant the left leg and you have to put the right leg in and it always felt weak and it always hurt a little bit. It reminded me that my knee could go out and it was always painful. And I had this constant ache in my knee. Well, after taking the glutathione, two months, I wasn't expecting anything. Two months later, one day I realized, wow, no pain in my knee. <laughs> That's amazing because it'd been like 18 years. And it was actually getting worse. And then I realized it was stronger. And so I'd get in and out of my car and it was like, no worries about the knee. <laughs> so I really knew then that we had something amazing and something great. So uh, I, I decided because as Chris uh, knows, 20 years ago or so, we were, we were working in another company and we did go international with it. It was a product that had uh, something that was unique and I think that's critical in the marketing industry. If you do want to market something, it's got to be unique. It's even better if it's a breakthrough. Uh, in that old company, that wasn't necessarily a breakthrough. It was a, kind of a, uh, a unique thing because they put it into a juice, but it was Lyceum Barberum. Uh, Chris knew the goji berry. Chris and Bob, Bob was there. And I knew of Lyceum Barberum from Chinese medicine and uh, its effectiveness. And so I knew that they had had a, a, a great tasting juice. So, wow, we could take this to the world. And we did. And it changed lives. It changed our lives in a big way. So, but one thing in the last however many years since then that we, we were not a part of that company anymore, let's just say the last 10 years just from round numbers, I've kind of had my radar up. You know, there, there's got to be something else. Am I, am I done with marketing because it was so much fun and getting to meet people and, and change lives? Could that ever happen again? And I really started thinking it wasn't going to happen again until I had that Zoom call with Steve Scott. And it dawned on me it can happen again and it will happen again because it was somebody of Stephen Scott's credibility and reputation and the greatest breakthrough of his lifetime. He's the breakthrough guy. He, Larry King called him the breakthrough millionaire. And he's had dozens of breakthrough products, four and a half billion in sales total. And he says, this is the greatest breakthrough he's seen in his lifetime. And the doctors he works with, very credentialed doctors, it's the greatest breakthrough they've seen. So it's not just Stephen Scott's opinion, it's many people's opinion and growing every day. So Chris, that's a little bit of a synopsis. I know I, I tend to go over because I get excited and, and I take too much time, but no. thank you for giving me the platform and 
No, and Chris is a, Chris is such a great guy, and I, and I and I really am so glad that we're back together marketing something. So thank you, Chris and Bob. The same. <laughs> yeah, and Bob and the Bobs. Um, no, that was really good, Jerry. And I just want to ask you a real quick question because it kind of came up. It's coming up. So it goes into the blood, but then it goes right to the cells, right? Or um, because of the hydrostat technology, which is not good. just nano, it's a super nano. And that's one thing why some people are like, well, how can we measure the glutathione in our blood? Well, it's because it's going right into the cells. Is that correct? Am I being correct in that? Because some guys are, where's the science or where's the thing? And it's hard to, uh, you can't you can't measure something that's in your cells, right? Is that, am I on the right track with that? Yeah, that, that is the rub. Um, eventually, over time, like if you took a baseline uh, today, if you just came in today and took a baseline, a year from now, you're going to test with more glutathione levels. But what I like to say is that we deliver glutathione into the cell, locked, loaded, ready to go. No one else can do that. But we do it in a dose appropriate way. Okay. Because it is an example, IV delivers way more than you need. And that ends up burdening your system. And you, your body has to get rid of the excess. Okay. And um, there's, there's problems with the excess. So we okay. deliver the right amount that allows the, the cell to improve function right away. And part of that is lighting up those genes that have shut down. And okay. we have nano L-cysteine with the nano glutathione and it's nano sized to a degree that it gets into the cell. Chris was emphasizing that. Into the cell on the first pass of the circulation. Yeah. That is absolutely brilliant. And the nano L-cysteine now can be used by the cell whose function is increasing because of the boost that the glutathione is giving the cell. And let me ask you one more question while I got you, because I know you're getting super busy all the time. Um, so one time, one of the medical doctors on the advisory board, which is amazing. I mean, there's so many doctors on this advisory board that are unpaid doctors. Um, but they mentioned something about, like, if you have, like, you, like say, people from out of just uh, from the 60s or whatever that have euphoric, why that, Laura, euphoric, uh you know agents in their body let's say you know or psychedelics or something like that and and and, and there's like a detox and then some 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 would say there's like this euphoric effect that might be caused of that not not that they're gonna have a flashback or anything but it's causing some type of uh do you know what i'm trying to get at i'm not saying it very well um maybe it's a detox or it's a lifting of that so people feel this euphoric even robert mentioned it not that he was on drugs or anything in the past but um, but they say this euphoric feeling that a lot, a lot of us sense right when we try it. I mean, people are sensing that you, it's almost a little bit of euphoric, not, but it's a clean, can you, can you touch on that at all? I mean, do you know what I'm, where I'm going with that? Yeah. If you can imagine as, as we lose glutathione, the body compensates, it adapts and compensates. You've heard me say that before. And it upregulates other systems. Like a, a good example is um, as you, let's say, lose the ability to hear, um, other parts of your, of your brain start to upregulate so that the sounds you can hear actually become clearer. So the body adapts in ways that it's trying to do what it needs to do even without that glutathione, the necessary glutathione. So all of a sudden, if it has it, then because your body's all upregulated, then you might get those senses of euphoria because it's pushing you up to a place that euphoria then make, you know, settle down and you get a nice even, you know, not, you won't get that first thing experience like you have when you first started it because okay. your body then readapts to actually having enough. Okay. Um, okay. But, but one thing we got to tell, we explain to people because I've had, we've got a lot of people in the team, you know, uh, 10 to 12,000 people in, in the team. And I've had people come to me and say they're allergic to it. Well, why? Well, it gives me a rash. I took it, it gave me a rash. And it's not a lot. It's maybe one in 500 people. I've heard it maybe three or four times. It's not a lot. <clears throat> and I say, maybe it's a detox. Same thing. I've had people that had a little bit of a headache or uh, digestive disturbance. So all of these things, they're not the norm, but it does happen. And the reason is, as, you, as your cells now can kick the toxins out that they're storing, 
and not able to release because the liver function is so low and you keep exposing yourself to those same toxins. So the body keeps just expanding those fat cells, especially around the belly, because it's trying to protect your organs. So now that the, you have the glutathione, enough of it, the body starts using that to help release the toxins. Well, it's in your blood. So once it's in the blood, now the toxins are moving and they can manifest as a symptom. So it's real important when people start with glutathione, drink more water. Because if you're dehydrated, guess what? It goes back in the cell. So it kicks it out of cells. You don't have enough water in your body so that cells end up reabsorbing it. So you got to drink the water and carry it out. The other thing, and you've all heard me say this, go out and do a daily walk. That activates, raises the metabolism, the fresh air, the sunshine, all of that activates detox. These kind of things will help in, in the beginning, those people that might have a little bit of a detox. Okay. Thank you, Jerry. <clears throat> um, I just want to touch on that because I find it very interesting. And, 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 and it's kind of a good segue in. Um, I don't know if you can stick around with us or not. I know you got a lot going on, but um, wh why don't we share? Um, that's why I was just calling Michelle because I don't see her on here, but she is on here. I don't know why I don't see her name. But Michelle Moore has a great testimonial. But you mentioned, Bob, I'll wait for Michelle to maybe jump in. But let me let me introduce Bob Steenlidge here uh, real quick because, I mean, Bob Steenlidge, if, 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 if you don't know yet, he's being uh, – uh, uh, it, he's going to be in the West Point Alumni uh, Athletic Hall of Fame for wrestling. <laughs> and he was a four-time state Iowa uh, state wrestling champion. And that's why your dad and Bob get along so well. And you guys, you know, have that, that connection there with the wrestling. Right. And I just think it's just so, uh, like, so proud to be around someone that, you know, graduated from West Point, went and served our country. He got sent to Vietnam in 1967. And if you hear that story, it's 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 incredible. And Bob continues to work with the Vietnam vets and their families with PTSD. And we're just so proud to have him on our team and be our leader here. Um, so Bob, do you want to share your testimonial um, with us? Yes, Chris, can you hear me okay? Yeah. Yes, I uh, started on nutrition in 1972. And uh, we've been very strict on not drinking soda pop and what we eat and exercise and so forth and live out in the country. And but I'm always keeping my eyes open for new products. And so when Chris called me in August and uh, I got some product within, within three days, Bobby and I noticed a dramatic change in our physical being. Uh, we have 26 apple trees. So, so it was the time of the year that I have to, supposed to get on the ladder. I'm not able to get on the ladder before. Now I got on the ladder, I'm able to reach. I'm able to uh, pick up five gallons of, of gas and diesel for my tractors and, uh, and, and so forth. And uh, our life just completely changed. And we were shocked because we were taking good nutrition products all the way through. <laughs> and we suddenly walking around with a big smile and had good thoughts of, of, of Chris and Dr. Jerry for sharing this. And then, and then in the third month, oh, my life completely changed. They told me that, uh, Chris told me that maybe in the third month, that's going to affect the organs. Well, my organs... Uh, were changed dramatically. And I'm 79 now, and I had prostate problems for years, and that completely uh, went away. So I'm like 20 years younger. And then I, I hate to describe this, but as an older person, and whatever the reason is, every time I went to urinate, I had to have a bowel movement. So I have bowel movements five, six, seven times, 10 times a day. I couldn't travel very far. And in the third month, I went back to a normal bowel movement. And every single day when I go into the bathroom, you can't believe how thankful I am. <laughs> and, 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 and things like this happen to every single person. Uh, you know, just like um, Robert was saying, he was constipated. Well, that was his challenge. Now it took care of that. And so glutathione is the one thing in all the years that I can say every single person is going to get help. Now, Everybody doesn't notice it right away in the first month, maybe uh, 40 to 50 percent do. Uh, but if you stick with it for 60 or 90 days, you are going to notice some things and you're going to be very thankful and you're going to have a hard time not telling people about it. Thanks a lot, Chris. Yeah, Bob, thank you so much. God bless you uh, and your family and Bobby there. Say hi to her. Um, is is uh, Michelle Moron? I, Michelle, I don't see yes, it. Yes. 
Can't oh, yeah, there you go. Uh, okay. You got to lower your camera a little bit now. I'll be, <laughs> I'm like I'm like the director of the movie here. <laughs> You gotta, oh, you can you can see it's me. Just the top of your nose. Now I can see you. There, 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 now we can see you. <laughs> you were tricking us. <laughs> Michelle was telling me about a story she had. And by the way, Michelle, she's she qualified for uh, the Zoom trainings and the trainings that their uh, Stephen K. Scott's putting out because she had over ten enrollments and did what she needed to do to qualify for that little uh, uh, whatever they called up. Yeah, let's give her a big hand. Do with that. She's our leader. She's our top enroller. She's just a fireball. And um, I'll let you tell a little bit about yourself, Michelle. But that story you told me about the fat in your hair, the hair you were telling me, maybe Jerry, I want Jerry to hear this too. Okay. Uh, I don't know what you call it, uh, Jerry. But anyway, I had a, a little bump in my hair that uh, my cut in, your in, head. My, in my head, on my head, in my yeah. hair. And it was um, a, 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 like a fat sap, is what the way my chiropractor described it. And uh, so uh, I had had those before. I had one removed, and I had one that just disappeared. I had one that uh, 20 years apart because I'm 84. And uh, this one, um, it was, it was it had uh, gone gotten very small and all of a sudden it started to grow and but this is the only time that it was it hurt and it hurt all the way around and then it, it came to a head and it actually uh, opened up and uh, dumped out what was inside that um, bump and um, and so I started putting the uh, spray on it and the, and the discomfort went away immediately. And uh, it's just completely so flat, I can hardly find it. I brush my hair like I always do a hundred times and uh, don't even notice it. So the discomfort is totally gone. And I just find that fascinating. But in the very beginning, um, I had, um, it's, when I was 54, I had really bad uh, discomfort in my knees getting up and down. And I got rid of that. For 30 years, I had no issue with that at all. But a few weeks before Bob called me, um, Bob Steenlage, and um, that I had this severe pain in one knee. And it just really brought me down to not, not being able to do much of anything. And so I was very open. And he sent me all these different links of uh, videos. And I said, I don't have time for this. I'm busy. I understand glutathione. I'm just going to order it. So I did. And then gradually, and just so I took two um, teaspoons on the way home from the, uh, from the post office at 4 o'clock. I took two more be at midnight when I went to bed. And the next morning, the pain was gone. And it has been remained gone and the other inflammation is gone and i'm just back like i was for 30 years and getting up and down and uh, and uh, no no discomfort and i have never had uh something that was a testimony i would just listen to other people on different products have their testimonies but it never i never had one before so that was exciting because it was my first testimony <laughs> yeah and you've got some great I don't know if you want to, um, I know Kitty's on now. Sorry for leaving you in the waiting room like that, Kitty, for a while there. You kind of missed Jerry's and seeing there. So um, do you want to introduce Kitty or, or does any, yeah. anybody Go ahead. else? Uh, Kitty is in uh, California and uh, way up in north in California. And I usually say the city incorrectly. Kitty, can you unmute and share uh, is, uh, what Numi has done for you? I see that you're... Um, that you are muted. I think I, I muted. Am I her. unmuted? Now yeah. you are. Yeah. Now we can hear you. Okay. Well, I have a, a blood condition and this side effect is. Oops, can't hear you. You're muted or something. Like fire, actually, I'm 76 and um, we walk um two to three miles at least three times a week and then i run around on a an acre garden farm but um it's my hair's gone from white 
to streaked gray. <laughs> uh, the colors come back in my hair. I'm sleeping seven hours a night and I had back surgery. I have two titanium discs in my back from um, 12 years ago and I would have sciatic pain, uh, just, you know, and aggravation and it's gone. So um, I'm loving life. And uh, I've got my son-in-law on it, who's a walking miracle. And uh, someday I'll get him on there to give his testimony, but they've removed his larynx, his esophagus, and uh, one of his um, jugular veins. And uh, he's, we nearly lost him in September and he's got more energy. In fact, he and my husband went and caught, um, got a load, cut a load of wood today. So um, in September, or October, he weighed 145 pounds. He's six foot five, and now he weighs 182 and full of energy and doing well. So um, I'm excited. I tell everybody about it. I got four or five people inquiring. I haven't got them beyond <laughs> there, but I have, I have faith that they will look at the videos and um, re realize what it can do for them. Thank you, Kitty. That was wonderful. Thank you, Kitty. That was great. You're yeah. welcome. <laughs> okay. Chris, I got I got I got to say my I'm on an iPad. It's got 5% charge, so if I disappear, that's I'm sorry. Just want to thank you. Thank everyone for being here. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Dr. Jerry, for your time. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Can I ask you one quick question? Please. Okay. Somebody asked me today about the hydrostat uh, nanotechnology. Can somebody else copy that? Uh, can they copy it and try to do what we're doing? <clears throat> well, because Steve started in 2006 with Dr. Robert Keller, who was, had researched a lot regarding glutathione, and that's when the company Max was started. <clears throat> but it really lit his fire about glutathione. So once... Of course, Max, he left because of ethical reasons and the other owners, blah, blah. I don't want to get into that because I don't have time or don't want to go there. But he, he's, his fire for glutathione was, was way over the top. So he had to figure it out because Robert Keller originally told him that whoever figures out how to get glutathione into the cell will change medicine, change lifespan, change every parameter of wellness. Wow. And so Steve dedicated himself to do that. So what he started doing was buying patents. And in buying those patents from different universities, he would meet researchers, he would meet doctors, and he started attracting also his notoriety because he's, he's a famous guy. And, and you know, so he started attracting these people to him, like most, most of us wouldn't be able to do that. Because of a group of people that came together smart, smart people in the glutathione arena, they were able to come up with this technology. Now, they had an option, once they had it, to patent it. They're very well aware of patents because Steve owns many patents. They decided they were so far ahead of anybody else. Everybody else was in the Stone Age in terms of in comparison. They thought it would be better to keep it proprietary because there's only three people at any one time that know all of the aspects of the breakthrough. Wow. And they're, they're all partnered here. So they thought, why don't we keep it a, a trade secret? Coca-Cola did that and has done it for however long they've existed. What, probably 70 years or more? More, probably. Anyway, if you patent something, you have to put down all the details. And at some point, somebody can go in and pull that off or reverse engineer it and those kind of things and come up with their own version of it. So they decided that to keep it secret, run fast, be the first mover. And when people think of glutathione, they'll think of Numi because of the way it's delivered and this technology. So we're way ahead of everybody else. That's why- yeah, thanks, Jerry. I just want to it'd say be real hard. It'd be real hard for somebody to duplicate it. Let's just say that. Yeah, they, they could, but so hard, in my opinion, it'd be impossible. Yeah. Plus, I gotta have a lot of money. 
Plus, well, they have have well, well hold money. on. And let me say something too, because I remember when we were first in GoTo, you know, you think, you know, you don't really know how big a market is until it really gets big and everybody's just like living how we were living. It was like, and we didn't even care about competition. But like, if there was like three or four people that were had, maybe even they had a product as good as Newbie out there right now, the market is so freaking enormous that you can't, your mind can't even comprehend it. I mean, even, I mean, if someone came along a year or two or came up with something like, it's just, when you realize how big the market is for a product like this, that does what it does. I mean, it's just, yeah, it doesn't even matter. I mean, as for, as for the wellness of humanity, I hope there is another one because we can't touch every single person. You know what I mean? I mean, for that coming from the heart of how this helps people, I mean, I don't, I don't want to be, I don't care if I'm the only guy that has a, a little piece of the pie with this. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that makes any sense, but, but, yeah. uh, but it truly is an experiential product, but I, I don't think that when you get all that, Oh, you know, maybe somebody's going to come along and be competition. I just think it's almost like a mute topic, but. I don't know. What do you think? I, 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 I don't know. It's just my opinion. I guess everybody's got one, but. Uh, Chris, excuse me, Chris. I got to tell you what I did today. This is a <laughs> secret. <laughs> I got so well, much time. Today. All the time. We eat our after show. <laughs> well, I wouldn't have any. But anyway, uh, I, uh, I like Tom Cruise because he was a wrestler in high school and, you know, and the things he's accomplished. And so I, my goal is to get the knowledge to Tom Cruise about glutathione. I'm going to do it one way or the other, get get to him, because he he uh, he needs to know it as well as somebody else, and he's 60 years old now. Oh, yeah, and all these, rock, all these rock stars that are still trying to hang on, or even these the Avalanche hockey team, even the young athletes. I mean, it's a it's an edge, but, um, I, you know, I just know for me, I noticed it right away. I mean, you guys have heard this a hundred times, but I was going five to six hours working out, make, mixing cement, and I even got some on my thumb, and I sprayed that spray on it, and it was just unbelievable what the, the, um, what the results after that. But, but I was, instead of five to six hours, I was going to seven to eight, seven to eight and telling myself to go to bed, and I didn't eat Epsom salt bass in the morning. And the one thing, and this is for Robert, too, brand new, I, I, you know, no one can do what Jerry just did and explain everything. I just used one bullet point that really stood out for me. Oxygen attaches the blood. The only way it could do that is glutathione. If we didn't have glutathione, we wouldn't. None of us would be alive. And I mean that just that one. That's one out of the five hundred Jerry talked about. And then and really is an experiential product. And Bob Spiro, we got room. You always give a fun, good, honest, heartfelt testimonial. Why don't you close it out? Because we got to jump on the members call coming up here on the hour too at newme.tv. Be an honor and a privilege to be in such a company of great leaders. And Jerry, you're inspirational for the story you shared with us the other day about what happened to you and where you are today. I'm a 75, this is my 75th year. I met Dr. Mendel many decades ago, and he put me on the path to health and wellness. The only prescription I ever took was Beconase for my allergies, and he told me to take MSM, organic sulfur, and that took care of it. I've been prescription drug free since then. I'll tell you what happened when I started taking the new me, mental clarity, things were just sharper. That's the first thing I noticed. The next thing I noticed was an increase in a natural abundance of energy. Like it doesn't shut off, it just continues <laughs> late into the day. You want to just keep doing things. I know I get, down, up, Bob. <laughs> I, get, I get up and walk several times a week. Uh, I love to take care of number one, because if you don't love yourself, can't carry yourself, you can't help other people. But we, and I've been retired and doing other things and living in my own world. But now it's time to come out because we have a breakthrough. Like Jerry said, there's nothing like what this product can do that's in this marketplace and industry. We're going to make a lot of history here, helping people be healthy and get off the biopharmaceutical merry-go-round that most people are on. We have the power and the knowledge and the wisdom and the company to do significant things. Proud and honored to be with you guys. Have a great, great day. Great job, Bob. And I want to mention, we haven't talked, way to go. We haven't mentioned anything about the business uh, because the product is just so fascinating. And that's really our love that's brought us back into this wonderful game 
sometimes. <laughs> but uh, it's dollar for dollar, right? There's none of this. I remember with the Goji, it was like people would spend $140 on 100 CV, something like that, right? It's a hundred. It's a dollar for dollar. It's simple. It's two products. It's a great unilevel compensation plan with placement features, and um, it's just a real business. You know, it's a real. If someone wants it to be now, if someone just wants to be a customer. That's great too. But but you can't help but share yourself. It's but you know when you get the results that a lot of us are getting, you can't help but share. That's why I do is going to be a hit no matter what kind of experience people have. As long as we just show them the tools, we just stay connected. Robert, we're all here for you. God bless you. Welcome to the team. And we're going to happy. And just don't be afraid to reach out to myself and Bob Steelage and, uh, you know, Dr. Jerry Shaw and get my, get our numbers and feel Texas calls with any questions or even a simple question with the website, whatever it needs. All right, you guys, let's have a great finish of the month here. And, um, um, uh, any closing thoughts from anybody want to share? Yeah. I... Yes. One thing here, okay. be sure to get on the uh, company call tonight because they're going to be talking about e EMF electric magnetic field and, mm -hmm. This doctor knows how glutathione can help in that area. And so it's going to be a tremendous call, according to Stephen Scott. All right. I'm going to put, oh. uh, you know what? My glasses are not. I'm so embarrassed. It's N-E-U-M-I, just like you be, dot TV. That'll take you right to the Zoom, Robert, if you haven't got that. But it's, it's super simple. You text people or you email at Numi TV, N U. Then you. N -E -N <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm brushing too much. N E U M I dot TV. Correct. Okay. There you go. All right. That's coming up Thank right in the you. hour here. Thank you for Thank your you leadership, for Chris. Chris. Michelle, Kitty, job, Chris. Robert, Bob. Thank All right. you, Chris. Thanks, you guys. We'll see you next Wednesday. Okay. Yeah, have a great, have a great yeah, day. Guys. Thanks, Dr. Jerry. Thanks uh, a lot, Chris. Bye-bye.